Right, okay guys, welcome back. It's Jimmy by 1000 and we're back with some more 20 minutes to die. It's the morning of day 10. We survived day nine, no problem. Um, the base is in okay shape. I think we're going to be concentrating on the base a lot in this episode. We're going to be trying to get all of this upgraded as much as we can, maybe to cobblestone if we can. And um, we're doing all right for bullets and we could do with a bit more. Oh no, we've got loads of blunderbuss ammo. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and grab get as much cobblestone and wood as I can, upgrade this as much as possible, maybe make some spikes if we can, and all the time I'm standing here talking about that, I could be doing it. So let's grab all this stuff, we'll go sell to the trader, and then we will continue with our 20 minutes to die adventure. Now, if you are new to the channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, it's completely free to sub, and it really does help the channel out, and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can survive another day. Anything you like? Right, Bob, I've got some stuff to sell you, bro. Um, I hope you don't mind buying all this old crap. Okay, and that's got us up to two, uh, 2,600. Has he got any new weapons? No. I could really do with a pistol or a shot. <gasps> He's got a double barrel. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Yes, come on. Okay, and maybe we can... I oh, won't buy that because we sold him so many blunderbuss. Um, right. I think Wait. Answer. Let's just have another check. In case there's a pistol. No, he has got some ammo, though. We don't need that right now. He oh, restocked day 13, so... We've still got a quest there one kilometre away. I don't think we're ever going to get that done, to be honest, unless we need, uh, get a vehicle going. Have I got a shovel with me? Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm going to dig up this clay because we're going to need it. Have I got anything to drink on me? Oh, damn, I've still got a broken arm. Still got a broken arm. I forgot about that. Okay, well, let's just dig this up. Not all of it, of course. We'll get as much as we can. And then we'll go do Bob's balls real quick. We can just get in sneaky, quickly get the loot and get out of there and come back. Maybe we'll cut down a couple of trees as well. Um, so we can upgrade that. I'm not sure how much wood we've actually got. Oh, we've got a little bit. So maybe one or two trees will be enough. We really ain't got much time on our hands, so scrambling all the way here. Right, I'm going to repair my stone pick axe thing, and I'm going to head over to Bob's Boars, which is just over here somewhere. Where is it? I've seen it. There it is. I see it. Over there. Go, go, go. No time to waste. Oh, they're all following me. Okay, get as much of this as we can. Here he comes, look. Mate, leave me alone, alright? I've had enough of these zombies. Right in the face. Right, that might be enough. Let's just make as much cobblestone as we can. Uh, it's not going to be enough, but we'll we'll do what we can. And we need to go in here and see if we can find a pistol or uh, something. We have got this shotgun now, though, so that is a bit of a game changer. I've got some shells back at the base. Um, so that should be quite useful, I think. But let's get in here and get this cheeky loot. Now, if you didn't notice, Bob's paws, this is around the back where it says Grace. If we go under here, there's a little ladder, and we go down the ladder. Lots of juicy goodness. Look at that. Shells, blundy ammo, another level five. Um, practice crates. Okay, better stone axe. And that shovel can get scrapped. Come on. Oh, okay, an actual knife. That can go on the axe. The more bullets, some more arrows, that's good. Um, let's modify that axe real quick. That wood splitter mod. Nice. Um, some meds. Ah, nothing good there. Come on, man. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Damn it. Another stone axe. 
Okay. Put it on there. Done. Right, um, I think that's it for I'm not going down to see Gracie, that's for sure. But let's get the hell out of here. And it's already 2 p.m. We've got enough time to just gather up a little bit more resources. Come on, get out. There we go. And um cut down a couple of trees. There's a couple of trees here near the trader. We'll cut them down. Get back to the base, do some upgrading, because I think we've got some iron back at the base as well, so we can make some more barbed wire. But I will need to craft up as many spikes as I can. I think they're going to be a help help to us. Um, it does do quite a bit of damage to the zombies. So, um, But yeah, stone, clay, spikes, barbed wire, and get ready for the horde because it's coming. There's some lock picks there. That's useful. I'm going to grab this coal. If we ever do get to the point where we can craft the vehicle, we will need coal for the wheels. So let's grab this. And that will be useful, hopefully, at some point. If we survive long enough, I don't know. Not going to be easy. Um, let's grab some more of these rocks. And get back over there, start upgrading. Okay, we've got a couple of skill points to spend. We're going to have to have a look at that. Oh, bird nest. Grab that. Um, you, sir. I'm going to smack you in the face. Beautiful. Another zombie here. Oh, this sledgehammer. I'm so glad I bought it, guys. I really am. Right, let's get this stone axe to work. Uh, repair it first. And wood spikes. Oh, Mo. Really? Wood spikes. What can we make? Let's make 20 of those. Get rid of Mo. And let's get upgrading. Right, okay. Uh, how many spikes are finished? What we got? What we're looking at here? 19, 20, grab those, let's place them around. Okay, and I think I'm going to upgrade this back as well. Alright, and let's get up there, have a look and get ourselves set. Um, we've got a couple of skill points to spend, let's have a look at that. We have got more strength, please. Can we get some boomstick? Yes, we can. Let's get a couple of levels of that. That's going to help us with the shotgun. Um, we've got a load more spikes as well. Let me see if... Got any iron? Got any iron? Um, I have. Okay. Um, let's make some more barbed wire. And let's put all this stuff away. Uh, shotgun shells. Yes, look at that. We've got tons of them. Uh, put that iron away. Put the food away. Uh, that can be scrapped, that can be repaired, and I think we're ready to go. Um, yeah, right, let's get these spikes down quick. We've got running out of time, running out of time. Uh, three more, where should we put them? Around this backside there. And the barbed wire fences. I think these really helped, these barbed wire fences. It really helped slow them down. Um, so I could shoot them in the face. Uh, but yeah, the horde's nearly here, so let's do this. I don't know if we're going to get any vultures. We might. Get them pipe bombs down here. And um, yeah. That's it. Here we go. Day 10. Let's do it. Hopefully no vultures turn up. Step fire to him straight away, look. Yes, the spikes are working. Burn! Here we go. Come on, don't miss. Oh, nice, a loot bag. There we go, finally got a hit on one of them.
I think the, the only problem with the barbed wire and the spikes is I am missing out on XP, but I'm not really too worried about that, to be honest. We have got it a little bit boosted, so in fact, I think it's doubled so that helps with that. So far, we haven't had to use any bullets, which is good. Yeah, removing those blocks either side of the path is definitely a good call because what that's doing is it's making them fall off. As you can see, Big Mama, she just dropped off there. Instead of them gathering up, they are falling off. So that was definitely a good shout there. They don't seem to be piling up on each other either as much, which is really good. I can hear a dog. Yeah, Sledgehammer's a beast, I love it. Dog's making another run round. Factor is working out good. Is that it? Now, I purposely didn't upgrade everything because I wanted to make sure I've had some cobblestone left over to do the repairs, but it don't seem to be much damage this time, which is good. Um, Let's keep our wits about us. Let's make sure we're reloaded. In case anyone jumps us. And let's get that knife down here so we can cut that dog up. Yeah, the spikes did a good job there. Okay. Loot bag. Okay, some money there. Decent. Another loot bag. Okay, cool. Um, I was sure there was more than two. Oh man, is there one up there? Let me have a look. No, there was a dead dog there, but I didn't get a chance to carve him up. Let's check the damage on this side. About halfway through, so not too bad at all. Um, we're going to continue upgrading throughout the night. So let's upgrade some more of these blocks here. They took some damage for some reason. I don't know how. I think the zombies swing as you knock them off. They 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 carry on swinging. Yeah, nothing above on that block above, which is good. Um, yeah, and that's another night survive, guys. Um, so, oh, there's a bit of damage to that block. Okay, that's fine. Um, we've done all right there. So, um, again, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate all the support on all platforms. If you want to catch my live streams of Seven Days to Die, I'm over on Twitch TV slash jimmy by 1000 links over there and also in the description and uh you can catch me live um when i'm over on twitch playing some seven days to die madness over there but um yeah take it easy guys and i'll see you on the morning of day 11 stay safe have fun and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys